step inside a physics classroom on the Florida State campus these days and you might not recognize it as the class you took back in college. What's happened to the velocity? Thanks to an innovative instruction grant from Florida State's okay. Center for Teaching and Learning, Professor Simon Capstick is helping students get a more hands-on experience with physics. The grant enabled the physics department to purchase motion sensing equipment and electronic interfaces that let students experiment in class and see their results instantly. One of the most important things about this is that they're seeing a graph in real time uh, of the position versus time and the velocity versus time of, of the ball. Uh, the way that we used to do this uh, in the traditional lab was uh, much more, it's much more difficult to get that data. Plus the advanced learning technique encourages collaboration, a key part of the scientific process. This is a room where students, instead of sitting and passively listening to a lecturer, actually learn by doing experiments and drawing conclusions from the results of their experiments. This is the way scientists learn science. This is the way we discover things. And this is the way students learn best. In fact, Professor Capstick conducted tests that show physics students learn about twice as quickly through the interactive, hands-on approach as compared to the more traditional lecture setting.